Education is a process of learning and acquiring information, made it formally in schools and institutions, or informally through life experiences at home or wherever it may be. The Department of Education never failed to face the challenges of the current pandemic. DepEd is tough enough to have actualized the continuity of education, the continuity of learning among our learners, even if it is not done in the four walls of the classrooms and school grounds. As the school year ends, let the effort of the learners, teachers, parents, and the whole community be given the deserved reward in this graduation. With great honor, Hagboya Elementary School, Katigbian District, proudly presents its 53rd graduation and moving up virtual ceremonies for this school year 2020-2021 with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic So friends, proud parents, guardians, ladies and gentlemen A pleasant viewing to all To start with, let us invoke God's presence through a song of prayer. This is to be followed with a triple hymn to put ourselves in the spirit of patriotism. Let us pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name.
Welcome us all in this momentous event. Let us all hear the welcome address from Kate O. Labrador with highest honors. School officials, especially to our school's district supervisor, Dr. Gemma Anuseta and Ladroma, our principal, Mr. Gilbert M. Tisorio, PTA and Barangay officials, Dynamic teachers, parents, graduating class batch 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. Today, our virtual graduation day is a red letter day in our lives. After seven years of hard work, night studies, perseverance, and for this school year, modular studies at home, we have at last reached this day of reward. If I recall, it was just like yesterday that we used to play and study with our classmates face to face in school. We were running in the, in the playground and corridors of our school. However, due to the pandemic, everything is set in a new normal. We study at home and luckily completed the school year right. We made it. Today is also a great opportunity for us to give thanks to the people behind our splendid success. To our dear parents, to our teachers, to our school administrators, LGU officials, thank you for all your support and letting us continue our education, especially in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Above all, to God Almighty who gives us everything in this world. With this, I warmly welcome you all in a virtual graduation with a theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And now, the presentation of the candidates for graduation and completion to be followed right away with a confirmation by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Bianito A. Dagatan, or his representative, our very own school's district supervisor, Dr. Gemma Aniseta and Ladrama. Dr. Bianito A. Dagatan, school's division superintendent, represented by Dr. Gemma Aniseta and Ladrama, public school's district supervisor, Katigbian District. In my capacity as the teacher in charge of Aguaya Elementary School, Katigbian District, I have the honor to present to you 10 boys and 6 girls, a total of 16 candidates for completion. After satisfactorily completed with all the requirements for kindergarten, and 15 boys and 19 girls, a total of 34 candidates for graduation, for school year 2020-2021.
I hereby certify that they satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the elementary curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education for your confirmation, ma'am. By the authority vested in me by the Department of Education through the school's division superintendent, Dr. Bianito E. Dagatan, I hereby confirm you as completers and graduates BATS 2021. Congratulations. Distribution of diplomas to the graduates. Baliong Dwayne James. Kamanzo Christian J. Kambangay John Darwell. Julio J. Mar. Linugao Jeffrey. Llorente Alan Gabriel. With honors. Llorente John Brandt Harry. Llorente Joshua. Lurot Ethan. With honors. Luzon Kent Jarrell Mancha Justine Medici John Carlo with honors Pinke Mark Kian with honors Varquez Benji Yekpot Gibran with honors Andig Krizame Balmera Joanna Campion Lisa May Gumonit Disika with honors Igang JN Julio Rianinia Labrador Kate with highest honors Recipient of the LGU Katigbian Academic Excellence Award Holy Infant Academy Academic Excellence Award Hagoya Elementary School Academic Excellence Award Lurot Joanna Marie Mesa Yumi With High Honors Mirano Era Jane Umapas Crisavel Umapas Jaden May Umapas Shania Audrey with highest honors Recipient of the Governor Arthur C. Yap Academic Excellence Award Congressman Edgar M. Chato Academic Excellence Award LG Ukatigbian Academic Excellence Award Holy Infant Academy Academic Excellence Award Agboya Elementary School Academic Excellence Award Pungase Lisa May Taberos Geraldine With Honors Tagsa Maria Chariz Classic Mikaela Isabel with honors. Jorika Trish Nicole. Viliana Erica with honors. Kindergarten Completers. Balmera Joven Butal Eros Vince Limo Aldrin Lumapas Raymar Merano Prince RJ Umapas Marco Angelo Kinio John Kyle Tesorio Advitus June Torquilas Stephen John 
Varquez Rodel Bangalisan Blesse Fay Benitez Christine May Lumayag Megumi Luzon Kyla Nicole Kiano Cherry May Suarez Mary Jayaline It is overwhelming to hear messages coming from our original director, Dr. Salustiano T. Jimenez, from our school's division superintendent, Dr. Yanito A. Dagata, and from our school's district supervisor, Dr. Gemma Aniceta and Ladroma. Greetings to all. Congratulations to all graduates, BATS 2021. This is a simple activity to celebrate your success in education. You have done your best despite this pandemic. My sincere gratitude to all teachers, school heads, parents, and stakeholders for your undying support. Our Bayanihan activities bear fruit and bring success to our learners. It is said that education is manifested through our attitude. Let's continue to be grateful to God who provided us everything that we need, that we were able to stand up against all obstacles. Again, congratulations and mabuhay tayong lahat. We are all in this together and thank you for being part of the solution. This momentous event of your lives in the era of hard times brought about by the pandemic, I would like to convey my heartfelt congratulations to all of you who made it as completers and graduates for school year 2020-2021. Yes, it was not easy, yet you survived. You are all winners and you are all great your accomplishments today is more impressive and meaningful because of the different contexts through which you have persevered. You face the challenges and uncertainties and your courage and determination put you to where you are now. Your certificates and diplomas prove of, your, of where you have gone and what you have done. The journey you have been through this school year is far different from all those behind you. You learned the knowledge, skills, and values in a different way, sometimes in a special way. You have teachers whom you miss, their sense and smiles. You have classmates whom you have never physically met. You learn things and ways more than you wrote or you thought you could. Be proud to what you have now and where you are now. Be proud that you are a pandemic completer and graduate. I honor you, all completers and graduates. I honor your unique way of coping your struggles. I honor your anxieties and doubts when you submit your activity sheets and modules. I honor your resiliency in the remote teaching and learning process where adjustment is the key. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemia, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, is a reminder for us to work hand in hand and be always ready for Bayanihan. Be ready to act as one. To our teachers, parents, and stakeholders, thank you for be being there always to respond to the call of times. The education of our learners today became a testimony of our unity where we got the better gains because of a quality education strengthened by your support and passion. We celebrate this year's completion and graduation rights as a great milestone 
in our journey as Filipino. The quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic carries a strong message of hope when everything seems all into desperation. We continue, we strive, and we persist because we could not allow our learners to wait. And we are all one in fulfilling our mandate of delivering accessible, quality, liberating, and relevant education even in these trying times. Completers and graduates, congratulations! Continue to live up the values that we stand for. Maka Dios, maka tao, maka kalikasan, and maka bansa. Continue to fulfill your dreams and vision. Continue to build your story of resiliency with humility, joy, honor, and pride. Ours is a story to tell to others, to the generations after us, and that even with the COVID-19 pandemic, we could still be the best and we could soar up high. Don't be sad because it's over. Smile because it happened. In David Bohol, we care for all. Behold Bohol. Greetings of love and peace to each and everyone. School year 2020-2021 has been the most challenging year in education. All been struggling to survive in all aspects. But our beloved Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones lead the baton that education must continue amidst whatever crisis we will be facing. And so, here we are, celebrating one of the most precious achievement, accomplishment that you have, your graduation and moving up ceremonies. It is one fleeting sense of pride and joy to be able to celebrate with all of you for your victory, bravery, resilience, perseverance, and commitment that push you to experience what we have today. So our beloved, most precious gems, our dear learners, just wanted to let you know that you are doing great. It is not easy to be learners with all the pressures in today's world. The more in these trying times due to pandemic. How you hurdle your lessons remotely through distance learning of varied modalities. The fear and scare of the virus due to negative publicity and many more but you survive and victorious so don't lose your heart if you find things difficult today the world is so tested it is a high time that you put all your learnings into action never be a bystander watching as the world takes a paradigm shift Take the wheel. Collectively, the youth are stronger than any pandemic known to men. Remember, everyone is a student of life as we all keep learning something or the other throughout our lives. So, keep the faith and believe in yourselves. Work hard and work smart too and with the right focus and determination you will see that goals are not impossible to achieve just have a clear plan and whatever detours come your way don't be afraid face them with conviction that those are part of the pitfalls where we cannot evade so be strong and let your education and learnings with God be your shield. And don't forget to thank the most honest persons in your life. 
those who can say and tell you exactly what you are doing, either good or bad. Those who guide you sincerely to the path where you want to walk on. Who always with you in times of your successes and downfalls. They are your parents, teachers, relatives, and best friends. So learners, congratulations. You hit the mark on your timeline. To all the parents and guardians out there, your contribution towards the realization of the one's dreams of your children is so great. Sustain it and you will see and harvest the fruits of it sooner than later. So thank you for partnering with Deep Ed through your children's education. So to all of you, congratulations. To the school, I know how you struggle also, especially that the world was shocked of what happened and nobody was prepared. There were so many hows and whys, but you are able to navigate it until reaching its destination. So whatever is the experience and hardships, what is more important is the outcome of what you have done. That's why my salute to you. To our teachers, school heads, supervisors, and non-teaching personnel, you did a great job worthy of emulation. I am proud of you. To the SDOs, I am so happy of what your division accomplished for school year 2020-2021. Your efforts doesn't go to vain. Now it comes into fruition. So to all, kudos. To everyone, always have the smile in you. See miracles in life every day and you will be filled with positivity in thoughts and actions. Congratulations once again. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the honor graduates. Words of gratitude will be delivered to us by Shania Audrey O. Omapas, graduate with highest honors. Good day to my fellow schoolmates, classmates, teachers, principals, and to everyone who is listening right now. To start off, I'd first like to thank my teachers and the school principal for their hard work and support for students throughout the school year. To, to celebrate this special occasion, I'd like to thank my parents and God who always supports and helps me even during hard times. The pandemic, which is also called COVID-19, has damaged people's lives in every way. Life during this pandemic hasn't been easy and is a massive challenge for us. Life during this pandemic can also be complicated, 
especially education during this pandemic. But that did not stop me from pursuing my education. I would like to thank my advisor for her hard work, especially God. Um, having the title as a valedictorian is a huge achievement. And knowing that you can only achieve this title rarely in your lifetime is a amazing achievement and I couldn't ask for more. And I am here today telling, telling all students to try their best and never give up. Because I believe that education during this pandemic is very important and you shouldn't miss this factor in your life. I also believe that education is a key to success. Though the pandemic is still here, we must never give up in our education because I believe that education is a key to success. I would like to wish everyone a good day and a happy graduation day. Thank you. Meanwhile, may we now listen to Yumi L. Mesa, graduate with high honors for the Pledge of Loyalty. Place your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of Loyalty. We, the graduate of Habboya Elementary School, do solemnly pledge our entire love and faith to our alma mater and shall endeavor hard to keep her reputation unblemished. We pledge our unstained loyalty and respect to our esteemed teachers who for seven years have labored hard for our welfare. Finally, we pledge our utmost support in making our family, our barangay, our town, our country happy and progressive. So help us God. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now listen to Punung Barangay Joel El Butal for his closing remarks. May ang adlaw ka na itong tanan, ilabi na sa itong kugihan o buotan na principal sa itong Hagwaya Elementary School, Sir Idzil Tesorio, kung sa at iyang kapita sa kanabuhi, Ma'am Sasil Tesorio, sa tanang mga maistra, ginikanan, na maoy, kasuporta sa ilang mga bata, na way puas na suporta. Mayong adlaw ka na itong tanan. Ako nagpasalamat na gitagaan ko gamay ng mensahe para sa kalihukan karong adlawa kina yung atong closing exercise sa Hagboaya Elementary School. Ang ako ikapaabot ka ninyo mga ginikanan nga ayaw pasagdi ang inyong mga anak. Gabay sila kanunay na binah karon sa panahon sa pandemya na naagisagubang na ito karon na wa pa masulbad hangtod karon tuig na takapin aning atong pandemya sa COVID-19. Huwag laing solusyon para mabalikta sa normal maura ang pagbakuna na itong tanan. Manghinaot ko na kinamabakunahan kaya mabalikta sa normal kaysa pagkakaroon na ata sa new normal na agasigit tag FISMA, FISHEL, mga tutag mga syudad mall, daghang mga requirements. Atong tabangan ang atong gobyerno na mabalikta sa normal na pamaagi sistema sa atong nasod. Kaya muna ibugtong uh, makabuntog sa COVID-19 ang bakuna. Manginaot ko nga kita tanahan magpinabangay. Karong Adlawa, inyong bisibubral ang uh, closing exercise ng ang tima kalidad ng inukasyon lalong 
patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya haom nga tema sa atong uh, panahon karon tungod sa pandemya atong patatagin atong buntogon ang covid para mabalik ta sa normal mabalik sa face to face ang atong uh, pag-eskwela kay mas maayo ang face to face kaysa module manghinaot ko ginikanan nga naa kanunay mo mugabay sa inyong mga anak ilaban na ang atong mga maestra nga mao yung nagsikripisyo aning panahona nga mga ginikanan nagsakripisyo parihat na tana nagsakripisyo tungod kay gusto po ta nga atong mga anak makahuman sa ilang pag eskwila kay way laing bugtong paagi nga makasulbad makatabang sa atong kapubrihon kaya kining paghuma na ito pag eskwila manghinaot ko na kita magtinabangay aning panahuna ginikanan teachers kami mga barangay official na kanunay mo tabang kaya aron mabalik ta sa normal ni atong uh, kinabuhi karon graduates congratulations tabangi ang inyong ginikanan kaya kini sila way laing tumong kundi ang iyong maayong kaugmaon. Sa makausapa, congratulations graduates. Salamat ma'am. Salamat mga ginikyanan na napagraduate inyong anak ng ninyo o naa mo kanunay na gagayad nila. Dagan salamat sa tanan. Sa makausapa, maing adlaw ko ng tanan. God bless. Congratulations graduates.